okay, I'm just grabbing my milk and yogurt. I'm in the dairy section. And you know, when I'm choosing milk, I'm choosing fat-free or I'm choosing uh, low fat, so that's skim or 1%. That gives me the calcium that I need without like added calories and fat. Now, when you're choosing yogurt, you have some options. You can either do like a um, low fat yogurt. So you just see on the front it says low fat. Or you can do a light yogurt. And light just means that it's lower in calories. There's a sugar substitute that they use to keep the calories in check. Now, I have a special tip when it comes to yogurt. I love yogurt, but I get the plain. A lot of people are like, oh, Dawn, plain yogurt, bear with me. I'm telling you, plain yogurt is delicious if you cut up fruits. Like, I love strawberries or blueberries or even pineapple in plain yogurt. It keeps the calories low, um, but you still can get all the benefits of yogurt. There's uh, probiotics, which are good bacteria in here that very much help your immune system and keep you regular. It's just, a, yogurt is a very healthy thing to have. Now, when you're choosing cheese in this dairy department, just make sure on the right-hand side that you see saturated fat under 20%. That's a good rule to kind of keep that saturated fat, which is not so good for our heart, low. So this one says 18%, it's less than 20, perfect. But any cheese, serving size, fourth of a cup, which is awfully small. So just when you're using cheese, try and measure it and keep the portions in check, which keeps your fat and calories in check as well. Now, also in the dairy department, you can see lots lots of eggs. Um, eggs can come in these containers here, and these are primarily egg whites, and that's good for somebody watching their cholesterol. But I tend to use the real egg. Um, egg yolks, or the yellow part, are actually very high in vitamins and minerals. So I like to use the whole egg, um, but the yolk is also where a lot of the saturated fat and cholesterol is. So I'll use one whole egg and the rest egg whites. So if I'm making an omelet, I'll use one whole egg, the yolk, and the white, and then the rest I'll use whites. So I'm gonna put these eggs uh, in my cart and go on to the next section.